gracias al señor Thank también you, señor Tony, por la información que nos acaba de proporcionar. This past period was characterized by action and rhetoric that overall did not improve the atmosphere for a swift resumption of uh, the political dialogue between Belgrade and Pristina. Antagonistic gestures and accusations continue to be far more prominent than efforts to return to the new phase of dialogue. There has been a tendency to disrupt rather than to de-escalate the situation. The absence in Pristina of a unified stance on the condition for the resumption of the dialogue with Belgrade has reached a critical point in the days since the close of the reporting period, raising concerns about the continued viability of the current government coalition in Kosovo. Jednostrana odluka Prištine da poveća takse na robu iz centralne Srbije za čak 100%, 100%, suprotno centralno-evropskom sporazumu o slobodnoj trgovini CEFTA, prvenstveno predstavlja politički motivisanu odluku kojom je naneta nepovratna šteta i onemogućen dalje dijalog o normalizaciji odnosa Beograda i Prištine. S druge strane, Republika Srbija je čvrsto uverena da razgovori predstavljaju jedini put za rešavanje otvorenih pitanja, zbog čega smo se i nakon uvođenja taksi uzdržali od recipročnih mera i bilo kakvih poteza koji bi dodatno otežali postojeće stanje. I can seriously not understand why on earth we are here today for the third time in four months talking about Kosovo. It is unbelievable that this Council has convened more sessions to talk about Kosovo than it has for Syria, Yemen or Venezuela. There are real problems out there, real challenges that require your valuable time and attention, real people who need your help, as we in Kosovo once did. It is unacceptable that this chamber is being turned into a theater by our northern neighbor. Statement. And now give the floor to the representative of Germany. We continue to support the EU-facilitated dialogue talks between Kosovo and Serbia. As our president has made clear, we believe this is a unique moment for both Serbia and Kosovo to reach a comprehensive normalization agreement. We believe this is achievable in 2019. Failure to seize this opportunity would be a setback. The dialogue should be both countries' overarching priority. Both Kosovo and Serbia should take immediate steps to lower tensions, remove barriers, and create conditions for rapid progress on the dialogue. For Kosovo, this means immediately suspending tariffs on Serbian and Bosnian imports. Reaching a deal will take courageous leadership and flexibility on both sides. Kosovo остается главным очагом нестабильности и источником конфликтного потенциала в Балканском регионе. Власти в Приштине взяли курс на обострение кризиса, что угрожает возобновлением насилия и войны. Отмечаем все больше признаков того, что Косово-Албанское руководство Через 20 лет после варварских бомбардировок НАТО Союзной Республики Югославии и 10 лет односторонней независимости выходит из-под контроля тех западных стран, кто эту самостийность проектировал. Вопрос можно поставить иначе. Смогло бы Приштинское руководство вести себя таким образом без попустительства извне? Ответ очевиден. Thank you. 